Today's question is, is there anything you have vowed never to do? I mean, there are a whole bunch that I could say, but just one that's kind of interesting that I feel like I could talk about more is that I have vowed n never to gamble. I am not going to gamble. And the reason why is not a moralistic thing. Um, like it's, I think it's perfectly fine for people to, for people to go to the casino, to buy lottery tickets, whatever. I just know that I will like it way too much or it will thrill me way too much. It will raise my dopamine levels way too high. And I can just so easily see myself being that dude that just blows every single dollar that he owns in one single night at a casino. And it stinks because I like aspects of gambling. I think it's kind of cool. The idea of asymmetric outcome where you continuously put money in certain places um, that don't necessarily, that usually yield a small loss, but over time can yield a big reward. I like that it involves math. I'm very good with math and probability. It, it fascinates me. I love that kind of stuff. I wish that there was live action math games that we all played that didn't involve me possibly going bankrupt. There's a lot that I love about poker. I like watching professional poker sometimes. It's really, really interesting to me. The weird way that, I mean, it is a game of chance. And there are times when you see people get buried when they had a great hand just because they had the second best hand and somebody beat them with the best hand possible. And it's really cool seeing that like, yeah, but like you do it enough and you learn the game enough. And in the long run, there are people that rise above others, like significantly higher. I think that's really interesting. And when I watch those videos, there's always a part of me that thinks, oh, maybe I could be that person. Maybe I could be that awesome guy that would, you know, get through those initial hard knocks of being in the poker life and, you know, could could maybe make a living at that. I like that people are making a living at playing a game. You know, it's becoming a, you know, it's just it's just cool. I, I really admire poker players because I know that that's got to take so much nerve that's got to take so much strong will to make it that far and to be an active professional in that i mean you lose like i cannot imagine walking away from a casino fifty thousand dollars poorer than when i walked in and that might be an understatement for a lot of guys i'm not totally sure um, and then being like, okay, I took a $50,000 loss. Let's go back tomorrow and let's put $10,000 on the table again to start. Psh. Um, I don't have that within me. I mean, I literally don't have that money to put up, <laughs> but like, I, I just, I don't have that kind of risk taking ability. And I know that risk taking is not totally a virtue. I know that for every, for, we see those people and it feels like that's 100% of the poker life community, uh, the people that are making it successful because they're the only ones that get televised. For every one of them, there's so many more that have just lost everything or maybe didn't lose everything but just didn't do very well at it, maybe lost something and just decided to be smart and step away from it. Um, it is interesting that I mean, it is an addiction at the same time. I mean, even the ones that are doing it really, really well, they are still feeding an addiction. That thrill of I put something on the table and I might not get it back and I have to use my skills. I have to use my wits to get back not only that, but more. And there is such a big like, yeah, suck a vibe to it when you beat somebody in a hand. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Daddy is getting paid. And you ain't, homie. Um, it's the same way you feel like when you're playing sorry and you boot somebody's peace out. Right, it's um, peace out. I like that. <sighs> yeah, it's just, it's very, very, it's very fascinating and cool and exciting and something I just know that I shouldn't, e I, I shouldn't even start in. Um... I like playing I like playing poker on my phone against a computer where you don't bet a single dollar. I don't even play Zynga poker like where you can actually pay for real chips. I never do any of the pay like uh, pay for play kind of things. It's like even if you're not like actually gambling 
real money, you still can sometimes buy like e-chips. I don't even do that. I just, I liked the math part. I like the kind of, yeah, take that vibe. And I like being safe and secure. And I'm only in the mild to not even safe and secure place in life right now financially. So like, um, yeah, it's just something that I really should not touch. Now, that being said, that being said, um, I like that, I like that I have the freedom to gamble. I don't like how so many states have made online poker like not something that you can do. Um, or online betting. I like that some states are passing laws that say that you are allowed to do that. Because yes, I mean, people are gonna make really stupid decisions in that and it's the same as like the war on drugs in my opinion. People can make that stupid decision. They can still be allowed to make that stupid decision as long as it primarily just affects them. Now, obviously, anybody's problem is going to affect their family, whatever, but like, I feel like that's just sort of a thing that we have to face, is that like, hey, our fa family members might do stupid things. Um, yeah, I think that gambling should be legal. I think that it should be way more legal than it is right now. Um, I think that it should be regulated to make sure that people aren't just using it as a blatant, oh, thanks for the cash, buy. Now, granted, you could say the probability with a lot of casinos might as well be that, but you know what I mean. There are online poker like websites that have just straight up like botted to make it so that like you don't even have a st stand a chance of winning, and like that is not okay. Um, I haven't totally worked out the ethics of it, but just the idea of gambling, no. Um, that doesn't sit right with me. For the country at large. But Joe, gambling, no.